Hello, Kusair. Hello, Moises. Hello, Marco Antonio. Hi, Esmeralda. Hi, Sonia. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you tonight, guys? Good. Good. Very good. Very good. I'm good. Thanks. Okay, that's great. Everyone is good tonight. That's perfect. How was your Tuesday? How was your Tuesday? Was it good? Was it great? Was it tired? Was it interesting? Was it bad? How was your day today? Josael, how was your day? My day is um, free time. Oh. Okay, you had free time today. A day off? You have a day off today. Yes, teacher. Okay, that's great. Very good. And Moises, how are you tonight? So good. Okay, good. Good to know. So welcome to class. Thank you so much for the punctuality, guys. So let's start with today's topic. And today we're going to study the next thing, asking, accepting, and refusing invitation. That is the topic for tonight. The C. How often do you have invitation? Huh? How often do you have invitation for parties? How often do you have invitation for parties? Always, never, sometimes. Sometimes. Okay, we say say sometimes. For having a dinner with your friends, how often do you receive those invitations? Con qué frecuencia salen con sus amigos? Very often. That's great, very often. O ya no le dan permiso de salir con sus amigos. <laughs> they know, right? So today we're going to talk about that, right? Asking, eh, accepting, and refusing invitation. Uh, ¿Cuáles son las mentiras más comunes que decimos para no ir a una o no asistir a alguna fiesta o evento que nos inviten? ¿Cuáles son las excusas más comunes? Tengo clases de inglés. Ah, Tengo okay. mucho trabajo. Okay, that is a good one. I have English classes. I have a lot of work to do. <laughs> Any other? ¿Alguna otra excusa? No tengo tiempo. I don't have time. I'm busy. I'm very busy. I don't have time. Any other? Ya tengo un compromiso. Excellent. So I have another plan. Another arrangement and I'm sick is another good excuse, right? Tengo visita, tengo que cuidar a mis sobrinos. So you say something like that, right? Cuando no quieren ir a algún lugar o alguna invitación. So, y para aceptar. Y le dicen, Moisés, vámonos a la playa una semana. Then you say, yes, right? It suena como un buen plan. Vámonos ya. So, let's start with this topic and let's go with this. But before to go to the topic, do you have any question about the platform exercises? Any question about those exercises? Don't forget that during this week, you have to complete the section number four. So, no questions? Oh, you have already complete the section. That's great. Congratulations, Josiah. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Let's go with this topic then. Asking, accepting, and refusing invitation. Welcome to class number 10. So this is the objective for tonight. In this lesson, participants will learn to use wood for invitation and also at the end of this lesson participant will be comprehend the use of good in question and answer 
So what? What is the meaning of this word? What? Any idea? What is the meaning of what? Deberías. 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 Podrías. 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 Okay. So let's define. Yes. It's una probabilidad. Good. Let's see in this phrase, would you like? What is the meaning of this phrase? Would you like? Quisieras. 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 Te gustaría. So an invitation. Let's say a look at this conversation. Let's say a look at this. And it's, I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Okay, what time is going to be the event? ¿A qué hora es el evento? The soccer match. Eight. At 8 o'clock p.m. Let's see, are they and Susan going to have dinner together? Six o'clock. Six o'clock. Okay, listen to the question. Is they and Susan going to have a dinner together? Yes, they are or no they are? No, they aren't. Okay, no they aren't, right? Why not? Because, did they work late? Okay, because they is going to work late. Uh, where are they going to meet? Where are they going to meet? At the stadium. Thank you, at the stadium before the match. Okay. That's great. So now let's see. They says, I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Look at this question. Would you like to go? Quisieras ir? Te gustaría ir? Thanks. I love to. What time does it start? ¿Aceptó la invitación o no aceptó la invitación, Susan? Tell me. He accepted or? Yes. Okay. Yes. Right. Yes. So. At eight, that sounds great. So do you want to have dinner at six? And that is another invitation. Do you want? Do you want to have dinner at six? Hmm, I like to, but I have to work late. Okay, una excusa, ¿verdad? Bueno, puede que sea cierto. Tengo que trabajar hasta tarde. I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That's all fine. See you there. So let's listen to this my conversation. Do you have any question about vocabulary in this conversation? No question. The match. The match. Stop before the match. The match. Okay. The stadium before the match. Match is the partido de football, the soccer match. Then before the match, antes del partido. Oh. Match is the partido. Yes. Oh, okay. Thank you for your question. Any other question? No more question. Then let's listen. Pay attention to the pronunciation because we're going to practice this. I have tickets Ooh. to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay, I need to learn to practice. Oh, sorry. Oscar, do you have a question? I... So? And Susan, the sound great. So, okay, that sounds great. So it's like, uh, así que quieres cenar 
Así que, ¿quieres cenar a las seis? So it's like, así, así que, in this case. Así que. Mm -hmm. Ok. Thank you, Oscar, for your question again. Um, to volunteer to practice in this conversation, who wants to participate? I have Dennis. Thank you, Dennis. And also, any other volunteer to practice with Dennis? I have Marco Antonio. Thank you, Dennis. Dennis and Marco Antonio. Dennis, you are going to read they part in Marco Antonio Susan part. Let's okay. start. Okay. I have a ticket to a soccer match on Friday night. Will do you will you like to go? Thanks. I love to. What time does it start? At ADP. I ate. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six? Oh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30, 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay, excellent. Very good job. Thank you. How do you pronounce train time in English? You want to help me? How do you pronounce this number, guys? 13. 13? Really, 30. that is an... 30. 30. 30. 13 is 13. 30. Thank you. Now, let's see. How do you pronounce this phrase? Let me at the gate. At the gate. Thank you. Let okay, me at thanks. the gate. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. I have Sonia. Sonia wanted to participate. And I need another volunteer to practice with Sonia. Who wants? Who wants to try? Thank you, Iliana. Thank you, Eli. So I have Sonia and Eli. Uh, Sonia, you are going to read day part in Eli. Can you please read Susan part? Okay. Um, I have tickets to, to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8. That sounds great. So do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet the at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Perfect job. Thank you so much. That was a super conversation. Thank you, Sonia and Eli. Very good job. Let's go with the next. I have team. tickets to... Okay, let's go with this grammar focus in this part. Here we have this example. Would you like to go out on Friday? Then here are some possible answers to accept the invitation. Would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I would. Yes, I love to. Thanks. Yes, I really like to go. Would you like to go to a soccer match? Then I have some example to refuse this invitation to say no. I like to, but I have to work late. I like to, but I need to stay money. I like to, but I want to visit my parents. ¿Cuál de estas excusas ha utilizado? Antes, I have to work. I need to stay money. I want to visit my parents. Todas, teacher, ya me las agoté todas las excusas. O les gusta mucho salir y dicen, yes, yes, I would. Yes, I love to. Thanks. Yes, I really like to go. So let's listen to this example. Let's take one. Would. Verb plus two plus verb. Would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to. Thanks. Yes, I'd really like to go. Would you like to go to a soccer match? I'd like to, but I have to work late. I'd like to, but I need to save money. I'd like to, 
but I want to visit my parents. Contraction. I'd equals I would. Okay, do you have any question in this part? To make the invitation, we need would at the beginning of the sentence. Then we need the subject. Then we need the verb. Would you like? Then to and the verb. Would you like to go out? Would you like to have a dinner? Would you like to go to the movies? Would you like to go to the lake? Would you like um, to have lunch with me tonight, sorry, tomorrow? Would you like to have a lunch with me tomorrow? So in this moment, uh, Josael, if I say, would you like to go out on Friday? What would be your answer? Would you like? Um... Would you like to go out on Friday? Quisiera salir el viernes. Ah, uh, este. Would you like? Yes, I would. Will. Yes, I would. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? No sé. Yes, I would. Yes, yes I, I would. would. Okay. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sonia, would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I love to. Thanks. Okay, excellent answer. Thank you. Let's go with Vanessa. Would you like to go out on Friday? Your microphone. Sorry. Yes, I, I really like to go. Excellent answer. Yes, I really like to go. Thank you. Jessica, would you like to go out on Friday? Good night. Yes. I love to think. Okay, excellent. And let's see, Moises, would you like to go to a soccer match? I'd like to, but I have to work late. Okay, excellent. And for Marco Antonio, would you like to go to a soccer match? Yes, I would. Excellent. So, Ili, would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I'd really like to go. Okay, very good. So let's see. Rebecca, would you like to go to a soccer match? Hello, Rebecca. Would you like to go to a soccer match next weekend? And David, would you like to go to a soccer match next weekend? Yes, I would like. Okay, great. So no question in this part. If you don't have any question. Good. Let's go with this. A structure for a second. So you say, I would like to go to her new house. Or I would like to go to her new house. When did you see? To accept an invitation, it says subject, would, the verb, to, the verb, and the complement. For accept an invitation, say, I would like, I would like to, I love to, or the full sentence, I would like to go to her new house. ¿Cuál fue la invitación? ¿Cuál fue la pregunta en esta respuesta? Esta persona like aceptó. Would you like to go to my new house? Okay, would you like to go to her new house? Oh my God. <laughs> Try it again, David. Say it again. Would you like to go to her new house? Okay, excellent now. Y esta persona se aceptó. Yes, I would like to go to her new house. For refusing. Uh, you can use this phrase, I love to go to her new house. Then you use, but I can. But I have to work. But I have classes. But I have to study for a test. Then, would you like to? We use this expression to invite someone. I have these examples. Uh, I need to volunteer to practice in these two small examples here. Who wants? 
who went to try it. Thank you, David. And I have David and the people. And Moises, thank you. David, you are A. Moises, you are B. Would you like to go out for dinner on Saturday? I would love to. Would you like to join? Our, would you like to join to our English conversation club? I would like to. Okay. I need another two volunteers, but this time you are not going to accept. So I have Oscar and let me see where are they? Oh my God. Any two volunteers? Any volunteer to practice in these two invitations? Okay, Dennis, thank you. And who wants to help Dennis? Hello. Any other volunteer to practice with Dennis? Thank you, Esmeralda Guadalupe. Thank you so much. So I have Dennis and Esmeralda. <laughs> So Esmeralda, you are going to read the invitation and then you are going to refuse the invitation. Y yo no, no iba. Ah, Oscar, I'm sorry, Oscar. Como levanté then, la but... mano primero, pero después si quieren la otra. Okay, Oscar, thank you so much. I, I'm so sorry. I apologize for this situation. So Dennis and Esmeralda, can you please? Is Miranda, you are going to read the invitation and then it is going to refuse the invitation. Would you like to go out for dinner on the right? I will love to. Would you like to join to our English conversation? Look. I would like to. Ok, excelente. Um, Denis, pero tenía que rehusarse. You have to refuse the invitation. You're just afraid to say no. Ok, I'm sorry. Let's start again, Esmeralda, please. Would you like to go out for dinner on Saturday? Yes, I, lo I, I love to. Thank you. Would you like to join? To our English conversation I like to, but I have a tour late. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. Then, Oscar, I need another volunteer to practice with Oscar. Oscar, turn and volunteer. One, two, three. Thank you, Moises. Thank you so much. So Oscar, you are going to read the invitation and Oscar and Moises are going to answer. You can choose Moises if you want or if you don't want. Let's start, Oscar. Would you like to go out for dinner on Saturday? I would love to, but I can. Uh, would you like to join to our English conversation club? I would like to. Okay, thank you so much, excellent. Question, do you have any question? Okay, then let's practice. We're going to practice, right? We're going to do breakup rooms and we're going to practice this. You are going to invite your classmate. So I have these seven invitations here. Number one, would you like to come to my birthday party? Second, would you like to take a picture? Would you like to go to a concert next weekend? Would you like to go dancing? Would you like to go shopping? Would you like to go to a soccer match? Would you like to go to the movies? So let me know please when you are ready. So you can accept or you can refuse the invitation using the phrases that we have already studied. Are you ready? You are going to practice with your classmates. 
Yes. 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 David, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. So don't forget about these phrases, please. This one, we're going to need them to answer the question. You can use, yes, I would. Yes, I love to think. Yes, I'd really like to go. To say yes, right? Mm -hmm. If you are going to refuse the invitation, I like to, but I have to work late. I like to, but I need to pay money. I like to, but I want to visit my parents. Or I don't have time. I am busy. You can use uh, any excuse that you want in this part. Okay, I hope you're ready. Let's go there. So, vamos a tomar turnos para hacer las invitaciones a sus compañeros. No se le olvide saludarlos, preguntarles cómo están. Don't forget about that. So, practice your English. Just a second. Okay, here we go. Check in the groups. Okay. You are going to have six minutes to complete this activity. So enjoy your practice. See you in six minutes. Hello, Rebecca. What happened? Did you finish practicing with your classmates? Your microphone, Rebecca. Turn on your microphone. I'm sorry. I'm in a meeting of work and I don't, I don't. No he estado en la clase realmente, así que 
sé que están en una reunión y estaba conectada en el teléfono y sé que están hablando, pero no sé de qué están hablando. Ah, ok, I understand. Don't worry, sí, entonces Rebecca. Entonces acabo de salir de la reunión. Ah, ok. Um, we are talking about, bueno, for accepting, refusing, asking, sorry, asking, accepting, and refusing invitation. Then we use would. For example, would you like to go to a soccer match next weekend? It means, ¿le gustaría o te gustaría ir a un juego de fútbol? El próximo fin de semana. Sería con respondiendo, would you like, eh? Yes, would you like to, más un verbo. Would you like to have a dinner tomorrow? Me gustaría venir a cenar. Would you like to come to dinner tomorrow? Then, here are some answers. I'm going to share the screen with you. Just like this as I can. Okay. okay, give me a second. I'm going to show you this. Okay, let's take a look at this. I have this invitation. Would you like to go out on Friday? Le gustaría salir el viernes? Then, usted puede aceptar o pueden negarse a esa invitación. Accept or refuse the invitation. So, if you accept the invitation, you can use one of these three phrases that I have here. Yes, I would. Yes, I love to tense. Yes, I really like to go. If you are going to refuse the invitation, you can use these other three phrases. I like to, but I have to work late. I like to, but I need to say money. I like to, but I want to visit my parents. So this contraction, I, is saying that I would. And then we practice this. Let me see this part. Would you like to go out for dinner on Saturday, Rebecca? Yes, I would. Okay, let me see. I would love to. Would you like to join to our English conversation club? Yes, I would like to. Say, I would like to. I would like to. Y en el caso de que no quiera hacerlo, would you like to go out for dinner on Saturday? I would love to. No quiero. Yes. Yeah. You want to say no. Entonces utilizaríamos una de estas frases para negarnos. I like to, but. but ok, quisiera, me gustaría, but. I can, pero no puedo, but I am busy, estoy ocupado, but I have to work, tengo que trabajar, but I need to save money, or I want to visit my parents, but I don't have time, I have to study for a test, so más que todo sería una excusa, algo para que la otra persona no se sienta mal, I like to, but I, y luego ahí pone usted la razón por la que no puede aceptar, Ok, so let's come back to this exercise. Ahora, este es el ejercicio que están practicando sus compañeros. Would you like to come to my birthday party? Yes, I would. Would you like to take a picture? Would you like to take a picture with me? Yes, I really like to. Would you like to go to a concert next weekend? I like to, but I have to work. Okay, excellent answer. So I'd like to, but I have to work. Would you like to go dancing next Sunday? I I would like to, but I need to rest. <laughs> okay, excellent. So, would you like to go shopping next Saturday? Yes, I love to. Thank you. Would you like to go to a soccer match on Friday? No, I, I don't like soccer. Okay. I like to, but I'm busy. So, I'm tired. So, would you like to go to the movies? 
tomorrow? Would you uh, like to go to the movies tomorrow? I like to, but I'm I'm working. Okay, I have to work. Tengo que trabajar. Okay, great. Good answer. So let me let me check your classmate. What are they doing? Okay, Rebecca, do you have any question? Eh, para ver la clase grabada, ¿cómo puedo hacer? Ah, okay, en el correo que recibió con la información, el link de la clase y todo, ahí está la dirección de la playlist, donde están todos los videos. ¿Cuál correo? Y recuerda el correo donde recibió sus credenciales para entrar a esta plataforma. Uh -huh link del de la reunión uh -huh. ahí están las clases grabadas ya yeah. okay. para verlo más tarde ok any other question no thank you ok just give me a minute I'm going to visit one group here okay. I'm with Josiah No, I, I love uh, series, series. Ah, okay, okay. The series, sí. the uh, wall, wall. Uh -huh. uh, ¿Cómo se dice vaya en inglés? ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo se dice vaya en inglés? Wall. 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 Hello, Oscar. Hello, Vanessa. Hello, Cosael. Did you finish practicing? Hello. Hello. No, ya? Yeah? Ya. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, okay. Cool. Finish. Finish? Okay, sí. then. Yeah. See you in a minute with the rest of your classmates. Thank you. Hello, Moises. Hello, Denise, Marcos, Isabella, David. Hello. Welcome Hello. again. How was your practice? Did you finish practicing with your classmates? Yes, I finished. Great. Jessica, did you finish your practice? Yes, teacher. Okay. Welcome again, Ileana, Sonia. How was your practice? Did you finish? Yes. Yes, we finished. And great. Oscar, Rafael. Hello, Vanessa. Hello, Oscar. Rafael, welcome again. So let's continue with the class. Uh, wood, we were practicing with wood, right? So Vanessa, would you like to come to my birthday party? Yes, I would. Okay, yes, I would. Would. Yes, would. I would. Yes, would. I would. would. Okay. En esa palabra la L no la pronunciamos. So, would. Would. The L is silent in this word. Oscar Antonio, would you like to go to a soccer match on Friday? Oscar, your microphone. I, I like to, but I have to work late. Okay, I have to work late. David. Oh, would you like to come to dinner tomorrow? Yes, I would like to. Okay, excellent. So, aparte de would, existen otras maneras de invitar a una persona. Y eso lo vamos a ver en la siguiente frase. 
let's continue with the class. I'm going to share the presentation with you. We were in this part, right? That was the practice. Would you like to go to a Daddy Yankee concert? Yes, I really like to go. <laughs> But yes, really love. Okay, would you like to go to a Carol G concert next weekend? I don't like music to be shot at. Ah, okay. <laughs> Neither do I, don't worry. So let's go with the next. Other phrases. Other phrases for invite someone, right? Other phrases to invite. So you can use do you want to, right? In an informal way. So what is formal? So do you want to? It's an informal way. So do you want to join us for a drink after work? Oh, look at this invitation. A drink of soda, right? But do you want to join us for a drink after work? That is another way to invite. Do you want to join us for a game of badminton or for a game of soccer? And also we had, would you like, the one that we have been studying tonight, would you like to come to the concert with us? Would you like to play netball on the beach? Why don't you? It's another informal way to invite somebody. Why don't we go for a picnic on Saturday? Why don't you come with us on a city break to Miami? Oh, to Madrid, sorry. Why don't you come with us on a city break to Madrid? So do you want to? It's another way. Quieres tú? Do you want to? Would you like? Quisieras? Te gustaría? Uh, why don't you? Or why don't we? ¿Por qué no vienes verdad, con nosotros a, a un descanso ¿verdad? en la ciudad de Madrid? ¿Por qué no vienes? ¿Por qué no vamos a un picnic el sábado? So, why don't you? Why don't we? You can use this expression too, and there, is, there are another one. Let's, we can use let's too. Let's play tennis on Sunday morning. Let's throw a party, I graduated. Hagamos una fiesta, me acabo de graduar. How about you? How about, how about, sorry, how about? This is another phrase that you can use to invite somebody. How about a cup of coffee? ¿Qué hay si nos vamos a tomar una taza de café? How about going to the pub tonight? ¿Por qué no vamos al club esta noche? ¿no? So, do you have any question about this other expression? Do you want to? Would you like a one? Why don't you? And also let. And how about? Aparte de las respuestas que ya vimos, podemos utilizar estas otras. That sounds great. That sounds lovely. That sounds super. That sounds fun. We can use this other option. I love to things. This one, it's a very kind of you. You are a very kind. Sure, I love to. What a great idea. What time? Que buena idea. A que horas nos vamos? What a great idea. What time? With pleasure. I wouldn't miss it for the world. No me lo perdería por nada. I wouldn't miss it for the world. So you can use these other phrases to say yes, right? to accept an invitation. Any question? Okay, no question. Then I have another phrase here to refuse the invitation to. So, tell of this. Sorry, I can't. I have some other plans or I have some other arrangements. I'm afraid I can't because I'm looking after my brother's children. Okay, I'm afraid I can't because I'm looking after my brother's children. I don't want to sound rude, but my grandparents are visiting me on Saturday. I love to, but I'm really busy. 
thanks for your invitation, but I have to study for the math test. Maybe it's another time. So you can use this expression to refuse the invitation. Say, sorry, I can't. I have some other plans. Sorry, I can. I have to study. I have to work. I have to go shopping. I have to take care of my kids. I, I, I'm afraid I can. I'm afraid I can. In this case, because, y aquí escribe la razón por la que no puede. En este caso, estoy cuidando los niños de mi hermana. I don't want to sound rude, but no quisiera sonar rudo con mala educación, pero my grandparents are visiting me on Saturday. Me visitarán mis abuelos. I love to, but I'm really busy. Thanks for your invitation, but I have to study for the math test. Maybe some other time. Any question in this part? No questions? If you don't have any question, let's practice then. In this small conversation, I need to volunteer to practice. Who wants to practice in this small conversation? Thank you, David. David M. David and Rebecca, thank you. David, Rebecca, and also Esmeralda and Vanessa in the second. No, I don't have question. Ah, do you have a question, Esmeralda? Mm. What the meaning afraid? Oh, afraid. Me temo. I'm afraid. Me temo que. Mm, ah, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Then who wants to participate? I'm confused now. Okay, Rebecca and David. Let's start with Rebecca and David, and then we are going to listen another volunteers who wants to participate. Rebecca, you are A, David, you are B. Let's start, please. Are you free on Sunday afternoon? Yes, I am. Why do you ask? Well, my husband and I are having some friends around for lunch. Would you like to come? Yes, sure. I'd love to. What time? 2 p.m. Should I take something? No, thanks. That won't be necessary. Okay, thank you so much, David and Rebecca. Now, do you have any questions about this conversation? Any new vocabulary in this part? Are you free on Sunday afternoon? Yes, I am. Why do you ask? Well, my husband and I are having some friends around for lunch. Would you like to come? Yes, sure, I love to. What time? 2 p.m. Should I take something? What is the meaning of this question? Should I take something? Yes, está preguntando, ¿verdad? He's wondering if she needs to take something to the party or for the party, like a cake, a sweet bread, soda, wine, beers. And she says, no thanks, that won't be necessary. En esta oportunidad, no, ¿verdad? Okay, another two volunteers to practice in this conversation. Who wants to participate? Then, let's see. I have Esmeralda Guadalupe and Denny. Esmeralda, can you please start? Are you free on Sunday afternoon? Yes, I am. I am. Why do you ask? Well, my husband and I are having some friends around for lunch. Where would you like to go? Yes, sure. I love to what time? 2 p.m. So, so I take some time. No, thanks. That won't be necessary. 
Okay. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> yes, help me to pronounce the following word, guys. I'm going to show you the word here. Can you help me to pronounce this one? How do you pronounce this word? Husband. 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 Yeah. And this other word? Around. 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 Yes. So my husband and I are having some friends around for our lunch. And let me see how do you pronounce this question? What time? What time? Thank you. And let me see. Oh, this is the word. How do you pronounce this? Model auxiliary. Should oh. I? Should. Again, in this word, the L is silent. So you say, should. Should I take something? Okay, no, thing. That won't be necessary. Okay, then I have Jessica and... Any volunteer to practice with Jessica? Vanessa, thank you so much. So let's listen, Jessica and Vanessa. Jessica, you are going to read A part and Vanessa B. Okay. Are you free on Sunday afternoon? Yes, I am. When do you ask? Well, my husband and I are having some friends Aaron, for lunch, would you like to come? Yeah, sure. I love to. What time? 2 p.m. Sure. And thanks something. No, thanks. That won't be necessary. Thank you so much. Excellent job. Just this word again. Husband. Well, husband. my husband. <laughs> okay, <laughs> husband, thank you. Husband and I are having some friends around for lunch. Thank you. Now let's go with the last. This is the last conversation for tonight. Do you have any plans for the weekend? Well, I'm writing a report for work. I was wondering if you could come to London with us. I love to, but I'm really busy. Thanks anyway, maybe some other time. So let's take a look at this. I was wondering if you could come to London with us. It's another way. I was wondering if you could go to the movies with me or with us. So I was wondering what is the meaning of this phrase? Any volunteer? Who knows? I was wondering. Me estaba preguntando. Thank you so much. Me preguntaba, ¿verdad? Me estaba preguntando si pudiera venir a Londres con nosotros. I was wondering if you could come to a soccer match with us. I was wondering if you could come to dinner with us. Any other question in this? Oh, sorry, do you have a question? Nope. No question. Thank you, Sonia. What about this? Maybe some other time. Sería algo así como tal vez en otra ocasión. Yes. Tal vez en otra ocasión. So I need to volunteer to practice in this conversation. This is the last one for tonight. So I have Sonia and Sonia and Rebecca. Let me start with Sonia and Rebecca. So Sonia, you are going to read A part and Rebecca B part. Okay. Do you have any plans for the weekend? Well, I'm writing a report for work. I was wondering if you could, could come to London with us. I'd love to, but I'm really busy. Thanks anyway, maybe some other time. Excellent job, thank you. Wow, that was a great job. Thank you so much. Now I want to listen David and another volunteer. I have David and who wants to try it? 
Thank you, Ileana. David and Ileana. Then I have Oscar too. David and Ili, please. David, you are A. Ileana, you are B. Do you have any plans for the weekend? Well, I'm writing a report for work. I was wondering if you could come to London with us. I'd love to, but I'm really busy. Thanks anyway, maybe some other time. Excellent, that was a super job. Thank you, thank you so much for your help. And then I have Oscar in. Anyway, one volunteer to practice with Oscar. One, two, three. Thank you, Moises, Oscar and Moises. So Oscar, you are A, Moises, you are B. Do you have any plans for the weekend? Well, I'm writing a report for work. I was wondering if you could come to London with us. I love to, but I'm really busy. Thanks anyway, maybe some other time. Okay, excellent job. Thank you so much, Oscar and myself, and David and Eliana and Sonia and Rebecca. Thank you for your participation in this conversation. I really appreciate your help. And just to finish the class, let's say a look at the exercise on the platform. Let's see, let's review this exercise. Is this one? So the instruction says read the following invitation and select the best response. Number one, I have tickets to the baseball game on Saturday. Would you like to go? What is the right answer? I guess I am. Yes, I love to. Yes, I love to. And the second one, would you like to come over for dinner tomorrow night? Then I have this option, I like, but I have to work late. I like to, but I have meeting. Which one is the right? I like to, but I have meeting. Okay. I do. Is this the right answer? I like, but I have to work late. <laughs> okay, I need a third opinion. And a third opinion? The first one, I like, but I have to work late. Okay. <laughs> Let's say the last, the first one. Sorry. Would you like to go to a have concert with me this weekend. I really like to go. Yes, I really like to go. Yes, I yes. really like to go. The I first really one. Like the first one again. Let's see number four. Would you like to go a soccer match next Sunday? Would you like to go a soccer match next Sunday? Yes, I love to. Thank you. Yes, I wouldn't love to. Thank you. The first one. The first one again. Would you like to watch a movie on Friday night? Mm. I'd like to, but I have to work. i like to, but I have to work. The second one. The second one. Okay, let's click on send and let's see. Oh my God, we failed one. Okay, is this one I like to when I have meeting. Let's see. Yes, that was the right answer here. Do you have any question about the nice topic, guys? Any question? No teacher. No teacher. No question. Would you like to go to the web right now? Yes, I would yes. like. <laughs> would you like to watch a movie? 
You like to watch a yes, movie? I would like, yes, I would like, but I have to sleep. Oh. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much, guys, for your attention and your participation tonight. We'll see you tomorrow at 9 o'clock p.m. Don't forget, please, to complete the section number four on the platform in case you haven't done it yet, right? So please, keep working on the platform. And see you tomorrow. Sleep well. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.